the UCI has been in communication and contact with AG, AG over the past four or five, six months. You know, well, regularly, we're in regular contact anyway. But in relation to this year's race, we were in contact with them. And this situation arose a couple of weeks ago. As far as the UCI is concerned, we have to stand by the rules. And the rules are that um, all, all riders who uh, have a license are allowed to race. Um, and unless you're sanctioned you don't, you, and have no license, then you, you're, you're barred from racing. In relation to AEG, and I think this is Andrew's question really to answer, but my understanding, and he can correct me if he's, if he's wrong, is that the AEG signed a contract with um, all of the teams uh, that they wouldn't put in riders who were under investigation. And in relation to the riders involved in Operation Puerto, it could be maintained that they are riders under an investigation. That investigation was opened by the UCI providing their federations with files in which there was evidence that the UCI felt that they were involved in an anti-doping violation. Those files have not been closed because the judge Serrano didn't allow us to use that information um, for a sports disciplinary uh, procedure. And so now with the, with the reopening of op Operation Puerto, hopefully, we can get to the to the end of that um, situation, and and uh, either riders will get sanctioned or they'll get you know uh, they'll get off or whatever it might be. But we, uh, hopefully we'll get to the end of it. It's an unfortunate situation for the riders involved because a lot of them have, in some sense or some way or other, served practically two-year sentences, even though they haven't been haven't been sentenced. That's not something which we like. It's not something that we can do anything about, though, because it is the, the Spanish judiciary which has put us in that, in that position. In relation to the first question, I think most of you, certainly media, would have read comments that I made over the last week or two uh, about the Astana situation and, and the Tour de France. I think is, it is a completely unjust decision. It is not um, consistent. Because if they say that Astana damaged the Tour de France last year, and so therefore the Astana team shouldn't be invited to the Tour de France this year, several teams, and I don't want to name particular teams, but several teams damaged the Tour de France last year, so several teams should have been excluded from this year's Tour de France. So the decision is not consistent. It is a collective punishment against riders as well, which is wrong. And it's particularly wrong because it is a collective punishment against riders who had absolutely nothing to do with the Astana team of last year. The Astana team this year is under completely new management. It's practically a completely new um, you know, group of riders. They have brought in the Ramses Damsgaard CSC stroke anti-doping program. They are involved in the biological passport program. So from that point of view, the Astana team is on the same level as the other 17 teams of the Pro Tour. The decision was not made on the basis of any, uh, there's no justification in the decision other than to say it was an arbitrary decision, subjective decision, it was a decision made for reasons other than sporting reasons. The people who, and this is something I feel very strongly about, the people who made this decision are not cyclists and have never been cyclists. They don't understand, and he's sitting here beside me, and I've said this already, and I'll say it while he's beside me as well, but they don't, don't understand that since Levi stood on the, plat on the podium of the Tour de France last July. Every waking minute since then, he has thought about getting back onto that po podium in a higher position this July. They don't understand what it is to do that. They don't understand the, the effort and the work and the dreams and, and how much it occupies your whole life for, for Levi, nor indeed for Contador as well, who won the race last year. And it is completely wrong. It is unsporting. It is against fair play. And um, what I can say is that the UCI will fight this decision right to the 1st of July in whatever means and whatever way we can.